everyone, Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener and today it is the 5th of February, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit and that's about 4 degrees Celsius and this time last year we had snow, we very rarely have snow, probably about once every 5 years and I know loads of you have so much snow, well today there's not a lot going on in the garden apart from people keep asking me about this, what is this? It's a little standard that I made from a shrub, a hebe. Now, I'm not sure which type of hebe I've Googled, and it's either a Patty's Purple or an Autumn Glory. And these hebes are so tough because this one has already in this garden been in three different locations. I don't even remember buying it, so it was probably very small when I bought it. I can't even remember doing it and uh, it was over by the fountain and then one day I decided I'm going to move it because I was clearing the fountain and I moved it over next to my limelight hydrangea and then when I was digging all these beds out I was looking for things around the garden that I could use to fill the new space and it came here and then one day I was going to pull it out I was going to get rid of it and as I was cutting it I just suddenly thought I wonder if I can make it into a standard and that's what I did and it's so easy and it doesn't look much at the moment it's still got the remnants of some blooms which were from about July and it did look so pretty I've got a picture here or a little bit of footage when I was sitting here chatting to you and it's in the background it looks a lot better then probably late summer autumn anyway it's so simple and because a lot of you have been asking I thought I would show you how I did it. Now you can't do this to every single shrub, but plants that are evergreen shrubs, such as hebes, you can do that. So other examples of plants that are evergreen that you could do them to, you could do it to maybe a holly, a fetinia, a dwarf magnolia, a dwarf fruit tree, maybe an azalea, or a rose, or a fuchsia even and I'm sure there are many more so I just want to show you what I did and I didn't film it because I didn't know how it would turn out I wish I had filmed it now but I can explain and then hopefully you might want to have a go and I can show you over on my one of my euonymuses in more detail what I would do in fact I could even do it to that euonymus hmm that's given me an idea this here is my little euonymus and I'm going to see if I can show you what I mean using this as an example. You can see here, hopefully, there's quite a lot of stems. We've got maybe five or six stems. You want to get rid of all but one. So you'd pick one that looks the straightest, although you can stake them of course. Let's move those out the way. Say I would pick this one here, this would be the only one left. You cut all the others away, keep this one, and you would take off everything that's lower down, take off all these little shoots, so that you're left with just one with a little ball on the top. It will take a little while for it to push out, and basically that's what you do. I hope that makes sense. That's what you would do. So back to the Hebe. Let's give it a little trim, just to shape it up a little bit. Probably best done a little bit later than this, but as I say, it's as hardy as anything. It will be fine. So I'm gonna give it a trim to shape it up. Then I think what we'll do, we'll take the stake off, see if it's managed to hold itself up by now.
and then I'm going to take off any little ones like this which are growing again to keep the stem clear and that's it let's take the stake off and see if it's holding itself up by now I just got it clipped on with these little toggles take them off let's see if it's standing on its own yes it is so that's it that was leaning over probably over there and it's righted itself it's standing up on its own so i'm going to take the stake away and that's it i hope you get the idea of what i mean about how easy it is and obviously you need evergreen shrubs to do it with nothing that grows on new wood because obviously if you cut these off they'll just grow again let's see what it looks like in a couple of months time it won't bloom until about july so we've got from now until then it will grow more leaves it will bush out it will get a beautiful shape and this is it's only been like this not even six months so i'm confident it's going to be a beautiful addition to the garden i hope you give it a try it's a fun thing to do and i nearly threw the whole shrub away and how disastrous would that have been and what a shame so that's it from me i'm jeanette i'm the enthusiastic gardener i hope you're having fun in your gardens not long till spring just a matter of weeks really take care thank you for watching bye